it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm super excited to bring you two of the same Pilsner, but 25 years apart. I was in a flea market in Cardiff, and there's this little old woman in the flea market, and she loves her beer. I bought off her kind of old ashtrays. Here's another old ashtray that I fill with rubbish. Mansfield beers, these are a bit of a dust. Mansfield beers, they were all like 50 pence. And I thought, oh, let's pick some stuff up. But then of course, she got some beers in. She got some beers in. She got a bottle of Leecher Pilsner, premium Pilsner from Germany. And the sell by date is 1998. So that means this beer probably got a 12 month kind of shelf life on it. It's probably, it was probably brewed in 1997. How old was I in 1997? Probably about 17 years of age or just past my driving test. So this beer is about 26 years old. It's still, interestingly enough, it's got a price tag on the side of the bottle as well company called Kaiser's and it was £1.20 a bottle. Some of you might know this uh, but the most kind of delicate part of this whole glass bottle of beer is of course the metal bottle cap. There is a little bit of rust on the bottle cap so I am slightly slightly worried that the worst thing that can happen to this beer is it becomes oxidised oxygen makes its way into the into the bottle through the cap. So let's first and foremost have a look at a hiss. Uh, what's interesting about this beer review is that I'm going to put two bottles up side by side. Uh, our channel sponsor Beers of Europe.co.uk. Thank you very much Beers of Europe. Check the link in the description box of the video for Beers of Europe's uh, website. They sell some fantastic beer from all over the world. But this is the change of the brand in over 25 years. They've changed the style of the bottle. The newer bottle has more of a kind of chimney effect on the on the on the neck, a longer, slimmer neck. And what's interesting about the beers, I'll be very quick with this because I know you want to get into it. I want to get into it too, is that they've obviously tried to sell a beer in the UK at a certain point because there's UK ingredients here, water, malt, hops, brewed to the German purity regulations, brewed and bottled in Germany, keep cold and serve chilled. So they've tried to sell it in the UK. Obviously with um, not much success because if you have a look at the new bottle, it's all in German. So they obviously some time ago pulled out of the UK market. Uh, there's the bottle caps. Very different. There's now a bird, a kingfisher. Whereas the old label has kind of more of a kind of a, a German, large German house. Uh, we're using two of the same glasses, two of the same glasses. So there's there's going to be no kind of like difference in glassware. It should taste and smell. Hopefully, exactly the same. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Looking for a hiss here. Little bit, little bit of a hiss. Let's, do we have any smoke? Not really, not really. So, so far, not looking so good. Maybe the beer has perished. But then again, okay, the beer has, yeah, okay, it, it looks like it's lost this carbonation, which is a crying shame. But then again, it hasn't. There is carbonation. Look, the beer, look, you can see it from the bottom of the glass. It is still carbonated, might be slightly oxidised here. The, there's only one way to find out. 
if the beard is supposed to look that kind of dark amber colour and that's to get the other one out. Yeah, look, plenty of carbonation on the neck of that one. I'm expecting this to look a lot lighter. Yeah, look at this. So my fears with the rusty bottle top of the original 25 year old bottle have unfortunately come true. So the beer has oxidized. in the old bottle that's a shame but we're gonna crack on anyway aren't we why not so that already I'm getting a lovely aroma of hops it's spicy and peppery there's a slight wafer aroma coming through it smells really good clean refreshing <laughs> 25 year old 25 year old beer look at the difference eh 25 year old exactly the same brewed beer obviously the older bottle a 26 year old bottle has oxidized but i mean giving it a whirl it is trying to recreate a head let's get the aroma on this one oh no no oh no 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 this is um Smells like aftershave. It smells like a strong ale. It smells like a, like a barley wine. Like, a, like your uncle's old wardrobe. Your great uncle's old wardrobe. You know, you open it and it's kind of full of musty old suits. Yeah, there's a real kind of horrible mustiness to it. Like an old people's house, an old person's house. Musty and kind of, musty and dusty. But some toffee malt coming through, let's dive in. Let's give it a sip. bit flat bit musty and dusty and biscuity and bready it's very biscuity and bready it's turned itself into an ale it's not the worst beer I've ever drank but it's certainly not a pilsner anymore but it's worth it for the experiment isn't it I mean to see to see what happens when Beer becomes 20 pills now. Lager becomes 26 years old, you know. Here's the fresh Pilsner then. Leecher Pilsner. Very clean. Good head. Nice carbonation. Lovely aroma. Let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Super. Stone the Crows, super, super beer. Clean, crisp, stinging Natalie, refreshing. Is there any resemblance whatsoever to the 26 year old beer? I suppose you're picking up just a little bit of that kind of very similar malt. But the hops are far more pronounced in this beer. Really lovely and hoppy. Very clean, very refreshing. A joy to drink. A joy to drink. It's a really good pilsner. Yeah. Just one of those situations where I thought to myself, let's do it. Why not? It was meant to be. I went to the flea market. I found this beer for a pound. 
I bought it for a pound. And whilst I was browsing on our channel sponsor's website, they said, have a look, order some beer. I came across Leech of Pills and I thought, I've got a bottle of that. And I got, dug it out, found it. And, and here we are today, 26 years apart between the two beers. Um, I'm not going to rate the old one. It would be completely unfair. Um, the fact that it's still got some carbonation is very impressive after 26 years. You can see that carbonation in the bottom of the glass. You can see it rolling up the side of the glass. Very, very impressive that it's still got some carbonation. But I'm going to rate the, the new... The fresh, the fresh is the word Pilsner from Leecher. And that is fabulous. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten for the Leecher Pilsner. A really good, solid, drinkable German Pilsner. I can imagine drinking that in a German beer garden in the sunshine with some chicken or some a, a Frankfurter or something like that. Wonderful. I hope you found this video a little bit interesting. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.